Hey, hey, Spring Love Face, Simple Tarot. Okay, Libra, this is a reading for you. I'm drawn to this deck, so we're just going to go with it and see what we get. Oath, and we've got deceit. So, Libra. Whew. We've also on the bottom got chaos, and I'm feeling it. So, taking a, an oath, made an oath to someone, and um, there's deceit. Sorry about that. And then we got chaos down here. I'm going to read to you about this, but what I'm feeling, that's a, oh my goodness. Just a moment. Okay, I'm sorry about that. Somebody with the wrong number. Okay, it, it looks to me like, okay, what I'm feeling, if I look at it, I see oath and I see deceit and I see chaos. So that's like someone taking an oath and, you know, there's a lot of deceit there. That could be a marriage and you're feeling like there's deceit in it. Or getting into a relationship that you take very seriously. You know, you made an oath to um, a relationship to make it work. And then there's deceit um, causing chaos. Now that could be. But for some, this could also be taking an oath to do a job. An oath at a workplace. And it's, it's not working out in your favor, you know. I'm going to read to you out of the book because I feel like it's going to hit too many different people not to read out of the book. Um, it's just got that feel to it. Okay, let's see. We're going to start with Oath. That's the number 49. Okay. Let's see. You have chosen the symbol of Oath. Or for oath. This is the symbol for all promises and a, is a reminder to keep the ones you have made. So, making a promise. <clears throat> An oath is never made lightly nor in jest. Promises are meant to be honored. When you choose this symbol, perhaps it's time to look at how you have made your promises. Have you ch crossed your fingers behind your back, relinquishing the magic that binds you to your oath? Has anyone broken his or her promise to you? Let the person go. Don't hold on if someone refuses to be honorable. You don't want this person if in your life for now the most important promise you can make to yourself. Promise to be kind, loving, honorable, and good. Do no harm to belong to... Uh, yeah. And, uh, you know, this takes me... This has got this feel of karma here. Um... So if you're in a relationship and, you know, well, that just basically told it, you know, or it, even at work. I mean, that's not, if you're having put up with walk on the eggshells and put up with crap, then maybe you need to be looking somewhere else for a different job. Okay, number 38, deceit. Okay, let's see what we got for that one. Let's see? Okay. When you choose the symbol of deceit, be very careful about your motives in making your choices. So, rethink before you make an oath or a promise because you've got this symbol. Rethink it. Be very careful in choosing to do that. Okay, let's see. Okay, in the house of night, there is one who has betrayed herself and all those who looked up to her. Okay. I am also warning you that someone may be stabbing you in the back, regardless of the circumstances of your question. I warn you, so if you have a question regardless, 
this is a warning that someone may be stabbing you in the back. Um, it's a warning of deceit. Um, you know, there will be a price to pay for betrayal in all forms. And that takes me back to the karma, you know. Um, only you know how much it will cost. That said, although the energy of betrayal can be seductive, you know, um, this can be a lot stronger. So you, you're being forewarned, and I would watch before I took an oath or made a promise and make sure that everything is right, everything is just, and, you know, going, going to be the right thing. Yeah, and watch if anyone's promising you anything. Okay, number nine, chaos. See, it looks like it's showing us where certain situations can lead. Yeah. Okay. A, st a storm is brewing, and misunderstandings are all too common as chaos swirls around your life right now. Mm. Okay. You have nothing to fear. Um, you know, higher power is with you. Um, you know, after a storm, the air is cleared. And life will begin again. Even better than before. The silly thing is, if you refuse to take shelter, you will get soaked. And you may have to repair a lot of damage. If you created the chaos, you will have to clean it up. But if others are the cause, you must step out of it and wait out the storm. You will be glad you did. A good thing to say to yourself is no drama. So that's basically telling you, you know, you don't want no drama. No drama. Yeah. So that's, I'm leaving it at that. But that's pretty much it. So, thumbs up. Please do subscribe. Much like and love. Till next time. Bye.